this piece is about boxing and dance. We embody the boxing body somehow, and we apply it in a dance piece. Emil was creating also related to what he catch from the boxing. His, his father was a boxer, he was looking at, at stuff, he also watched movies. The, the Rocco is from uh, Rocco is with Fatelli. We don't have the training as a boxer, like what they do for 10 years or whatever. But we had input, like we had classes, we had uh, information, video, we had movies, we have uh, material to see. And then from this, we can see that there is a, a real link between dancing and, and boxing. Uh, last time there was this boxer came to see the rehearsal. He always said that uh, a good boxer is a good dancer because it's a lot about knowing your body, where is your body in the space, being able to, to move it very fast. So you have to be clear with your body into space, into, uh, in the relation with someone else, which is really like in dance. That's all rhythmical and uh, the way the feet work. And also Emil's work is very rhythmical, but in general, as a dancer, you, you work with rhythm, maybe your own rhythm, maybe many times we have a more abstract rhythm, but we still work all the time with rhythm. For me, for really personally, at the beginning was really confronting because the, the other one always makes you re reflect what you are, what you fear of, and he needs to read what you cannot do and what you can do in order to attack or to defend. And this, this confrontation one-to-one -one also makes you see your weakness and then it's, it's also a whole process that you have to go through how to, to be able to overcome the weakness, to make them visible also. It was very challenging because I was not into that or if we wanted to, to, to go away from it in a way. Sometimes we are really into fighting and other times it's this boxing embrace that transforms into something else. It can be a feeling what the other one is, uh, even feeling with the other person. And that's very interesting. This, this subtle moment in contrast with the, with the intensity of a kind of fight. Uh, those moments are very interesting and precious also to me. And what you train is also your mind, how to, how to deepen into things, how to not uh, stop going also, how to see the strain that you have inside and to make it uh, happen, to make it, uh, to express it also. From the boxing training, I definitely took the strategy part to always have something new, something different, never, never have the same picture in mind. That is something that is actually proved very useful in general. It's not the opponent in dance, but it's the audience, it's the energy from the audience, and can be very different. Like in boxing, you, you never know what's gonna happen, how the person is gonna get to you. And it's a bit similar, you, you never know what kind of energy the audience is going to produce or the, your colleagues around. Uh, so it's nice to have your own strategy, your own way of how am I going to change this and maybe also surprise myself and the others. Another thing for me is to use or to give what is necessary. And anything that is not necessary, you don't do. No extra emotion, feeling or even extra movement. So just stick with what is necessary. Yeah, this performance is a lot about communication between the dancers. There's a lot of uh, interaction between us, so everything happens on the moment, and every day is a different, and every performance is a different performance, and our challenge is to make it alive every day and to also uh, really make the, the audience with us. And I think this is, this is the, the challenge that we are working on, and now it's been like a... a, a 
one year that we work on and it's keep on we always have to make it fresh to make it alive and it's yeah it's really it's really something that uh, bring people also zooming into something so we, we I think it's really worth it for people to be there and to to experience that feeling what I like seeing in, in people on stage is uh, their presence some people are really in the here and now and uh, they can really transmit their state of mind to the audience and that is very beautiful to see and to experience.